Mark. Uh huh, virus, huh? How about you turn around and give me a hug? What? Oh, it's John! John, it's John! What? John, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen.
and gentlemen, tonight with the support of the Dayton Development Coalition and supporting partners, we would like to welcome some very special guests who have joined us for this evening's game. Captain Jim Thigpen's family has been selected by the Dayton Development Coalition and Wright-Patterson Air Force Base as tonight's hometown heroes guests. Our hometown heroes guests are families who have loved ones who are currently deployed on assignment from Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. Captain Thigpen is currently overseas in the Middle East and has not seen his family since he was deployed four months ago. Tonight, we have arranged a special satellite feed to allow Captain Thigpen's wife, Kim, and children, Jacob and Kayla, to talk to their dad in the Middle East. Hey guys, how you doing? I love you to miss you. Hi honey, how are you? Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize. It seems we are experiencing some technical difficulties. Please wait just a moment to allow our satellite to reconnect. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, direct from his deployment in Iraq, Captain Jim Thigpen. Ladies and gentlemen, the Thigpen family. I'd like to extend a special thank you to the Dayton Development Coalition and its partners for giving us the opportunity to welcome Captain Thigpen home. Happy Memorial Day, everybody. Come in. Oh my gosh! Nigga! <laughs> oh. Oh. Hi. <laughs> oh.
Okay. Brandon, you just let us know. Uh, starting in three, two, <coughs> one. We are creating a video to show on WEDS as part of our Veterans Day program. We want to conduct an interview with EDS students who have parents in the military. We have some questions we would like to ask you about what it is like when they are stationed overseas. Please introduce yourself. Um, I'm Grace Menzies and I am in seventh grade. I'm Jack Menzies and I am in fourth grade. I'm Lily Menzies and I'm in, I'm in kindergarten. Now great, now, now Lily, which one of your parents is in the military? My dad. What country is he in? Kuwait. Wow. When, Jack, when was the last time you saw your dad? Eight to seven months ago. And Grace, when is he scheduled to come home? Um, the middle of December. Um, what do you think of your dad and what does he do for a living, Grace? Um, he is a pulmonologist in the Navy and I think he's great. Lily, are you proud of what he does? Yes. And Jack, what do you do to help out others, other military fam families who are stationed in other countries? Well, um, I do pennies for peace. Um, it's here where it's not really the military, but it takes, well, pennies for peace takes, takes pennies, dimes, and all that stuff. And it takes, and then it donates to people in Pakistan who, um, it takes one penny to go to school for a day and one dollar to go to school for a week. <laughs> hard to describe you uh, when you're gone all you think about is coming home and uh, I just got off the plane last night and my wife picked me up in Gulfport just about two and a half hours ago so uh, I'm still a little tired from traveling and uh, just happy to be home with my kids and my wife and uh, have time to think about it over the next couple of days I guess but uh, just It was mission accomplished for this soldier. His son had not seen him for an entire year. A flood of emotions, uh, excited, nervous, uh, 
hoping his reaction was, was good. 100 fifth graders filled the gym at Scottville's upper elementary school. They all thought they were coming to an assembly to hear me talk about my job as a reporter, a cover up for something much more special. The tear ducts working, the chest tightening up just to see that because I knew the excitement for Brandon and what that meant to him was just the world. The idea for this big reveal came over the weekend when Brandon found out his dad would not be coming home on a bus with other soldiers. Brandon was devastated. The devastation quickly turned to joy thanks to teachers, family, and friends. I jumped up and hugged him. Hi, buddy. Uh, are you surprised? And he agreed, yeah. He said, yeah, he was surprised. He was pretty choked up. An emotional moment for this little boy. A relief to see his father, his hero, home safe and sound. In Mason County, Lord Amstead's 7 and 4 News.